What a pleasure to have all of you here. Uh, this has been a culmination of um, a number of us thinking about reviving this chapter and creating this platform. And I'm, I'm touched to see uh, the folks who are in the room and many more who, uh, to, our, to our community that is late coming in. Yeah, I'm getting texts from people. I'm, I'm running late, I'm running late. I'm like, yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 20 years of experience with you. Well, you know, what is open? They're confused by this. So let me, let me try to address it. So very simply, it's a platform for uh, people in the larger Pakistani American diaspora in this area uh, to be involved in aspects of entrepreneurship or their own professional excellence. You can define it in a number of different ways. Yes, Pakistan is going through difficult challenges. We've had uh, a few issues in the last few years, terrorism, but just in spite of all those challenges, Pakistan is emerging out of it and it is bringing a lot of hope in the region. You know, your academics will take care of itself. You do well and positive of it. I would urge you to think of a few things. One, be articulate. Learn how to define the problems you're trying to solve. Um, I would urge you to read widely. Read great literature, read books on business. No one book will ever be the perfect book, but read as much as you can and extract what you can for a given point in your career. No, look, I, I would just say, um, just a thought as you were explaining about these uh, two uh, young, young men about their shared heritage. As Americans, and that I'm speaking you know, in that context, we have a shared challenge here. We have a shared challenge here. And actually what has been disturbing in the last few weeks, there has been actually a concerted effort to divide the um, South Asian community. And we've heard some stuff that we actually read in stories about growing up. That has never happened in this country. Has never ever happened. So regardless of what happens in the subcontinent, which unfortunately, you know, something we can't control, but we have an opportunity here to say, no, we are not dividing ourselves. I think about Pakistan the way it's reflected in the media. The media's whole job is to sensationalize everything. So they don't talk about the South Side of Chicago and how many violence takes place there on a relative basis to what happens in the war, as an example. It's not the same level of violence. Um, in any event, I, I wanted to know more about the culture. And I was fortunate when I went over to be taken care of so well in such a generous culture. I, d I did find the one thing that made me a popular CEO is that if I provide food for my the people that are working for me, I'm a pretty, they're, they're pretty happy. <laughs> so Bavarians with food at meals, that's that's a good way for me to help help lead. Um, but you know, I, I found it to be a very forget about all media nonsense. It's all hype. Um, it's a very it's a very family oriented uh, culture. It's a very devout culture. It's a very disciplined culture. It's a very intelligent culture. So I have, I have nothing but good things to say, and I'm very happy that it made this business decision, brought my uh, business contacts and other professionals into the business, and we're looking forward to having great success as we grow here and offshore. I've got a Levi's jacket with me that I come from England, that I brought with me. This is a true story. And uh, one of my friends, Murtaz Austin, um, uh, lives all over the world. Uh, his wife does all the work. He does nothing at all. Waste this guy. A good friend of mine, he said, Murti said, well, he said, would you a jacket try here? He brought us a jacket and I said, okay, but pretty tight for money. He says, I'll send it to him and I'll go and make a copy. So I went to my tailor and I said, is he, he, I want to make a copy of this. Can you make a copy of this? And they come look at denim. You know, denim was unknown in Pakistan. So nobody knew what denim was. 1971, by the way, I'm pretty old. Um, so, so I looked at the denim and he says, what the hell is this family? So I went to Asian Islamuddin's son, who so, uh, son studied in school with me in grammar school. I went to him and said, you tend to canvas a canvas, I could die from my Parker blue wing, which I did, it faded up a little bit, and I made a copy. Long story short, in the fashion show that we held in Karachi in 1971, the first cat catwalk show in Pakistan was done by me. First, ever. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Junaid, and this is the first time I'm uh, here at the Open Conference, and a uh, remarkable event. Um, I think 
I was one of the speakers, uh, but I think I learned more from uh, the audience. Um, and the takeaway was that the audience was inquisitive, they were engaged, uh, and I recommend, and I rec my, my humble request is to really, really be a part of Open. Because that's a great platform uh, for our Pakistanis to get engaged, meet with uh, speakers, meet with, uh, and there were a lot of success stories um, and a lot of positive um, comments back and forth, and there was a lot of energy in the crowd. So, uh, my name is Dr. Rahim. I am uh, from Pakistan originally. I live in Idaho. I came to this event today, organized by Open Chicago. I highly encourage you guys to visit their website, which is www.open-chicago.org. And I must tell you, it's a great forum for networking. It's a great forum for expanding your horizon. You meet some amazing diaspora. You meet amazing entrepreneurs, young through all ages, and get engaged. I think the key thing is be part of it.